Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you how to create a budget using your QuickBooks Online, exporting that data to Excel, and then customizing it to fit your needs. I'm starting with my QuickBooks Online. This is my sample file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a profit and loss report because the budget is just uh, projections and hopes for the coming year. So I'm going to click on reports on the left hand side of my screen. And then I'm going to click on profit and loss. If your profit and loss is not up here in the favorites box, you can always find it by clicking on find report by name and then searching profit and loss. So I'm going to pull up the profit and loss report. My default report runs January through December, but I want to have a budget that takes into account the highs and lows of my business throughout the year. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up and I'm going to change the display. Right now it says display columns by total only. I'm going to change this drop down to say display by months. And then I'll choose run report. So in my sample file, I don't have much data in the beginning of the year. But that could be exactly what it's like for your business. You might be really slow January and February and then start to pick up throughout the summer. So I take a look at this before creating my budget and just make sure everything is put away the way I want it to be. There's clearly some stuff in here like this fix with Rachel, but that's because this is my sample file. So imagine this is all set up exactly right. Um, you don't have any data mistakes. You've gone over it. You've you're, you're ready to file your taxes, you feel really good about everything that's here. And you want to use this as the basis for your budget. So what I'll have you do is I'll have you go to the top of your screen. You have a, an envelope for emailing, you have a printer for printing, and then you have this little piece of paper with like an arrow coming out of it, and that's your export. So we're going to export this to Excel. So it opens up Excel. The first time you open this, um, when I do these on my Windows machine, there's a little yellow ribbon that pops up on the top. If that happens for you, go ahead and just acknowledge the yellow ribbon and click enable and then you'll get to the screen where we currently are. Um, I have a tendency to make small mistakes, so I'm just going to preserve this and I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select move or copy and I'm just going to say create a copy. So that way if I make any sort of mistakes, this goes poorly. No big deal, I've got a copy. So this is my profit and loss. I'm just double clicked it. I'm going to add 2019. And then I'll call this my um, budget 2020. So this is my budget for 2020. So I just want to look through here and identify anything that I want to, to see different, do different. Um, so I'm just going to convert some of these into round numbers to make it easy. Just making a sample budget, your budget would be much more realistic. Um, your budget also would take into account that your travel might be more than $100, your rent might be more than $100, uh, your utilities might be greater in the winter than they are in the summer. So just play with the budget and kind of make the numbers whatever makes sense to you based on your business. So this is what you'll have is you'll have a budget. And now what I'm going to do is make a copy of my budget just so that I have something I can preserve in case anything goes sideways. And I'm going to call this budget versus actual 2020. And I'm going to start adding some columns for myself. So insert, right click, insert. Um, so I'm going to label this budget and this actual, and I'll call this over under. And then I'm going to add one more column just so that I can have space between them. We don't have the actual data. So we'll pretend like we did this budget for last year, but we'll call it January 19. And we'll pretend like this is our budget, um, budget for 2019. And then we're going to compare the budget, what we would theoretically would have set up for ourselves at the end of 2018, early 2019, against what we actually did. I have two screens and I normally will work on two screens, but for the purpose of this video, I have it all squished into one. So what I've done is I've just had my budget and then I have my actual, the profit and loss that actually exists in my QuickBooks. So I'm going to go ahead and add the, the numbers of what I actually brought in. Um, so I brought 1200 here and then services income was 4373. So here's our actuals. 
and then I spent money in marketing. So $49 meals and entertainment. So $26. I'm not putting the pennies. It's just not worth it for this video. Um, $36. So total expenses. I'm just going to copy and paste and this copy and paste this one copy and paste. I'm going to subtract my uh, budget from my actual. So I actually went over budget. Um, in this case, a good over budget, $200. So I'll do this for the rest of them. So what we see so far is that I'm over budget by $4,000 on my profit, which is fantastic. And then I'm under budget on my advertising. And I'm just going to click this to get the rest of the cells to fill in for me. So I can see overall my net income, it's $8,000 over my budget. Like I initially projected or I projected in my budget that my January would be more expensive and that I would spend more money in January than I brought in. But it looks like I worked out the other direction, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm.